What's up, everybody? Coach Springer, Spartan Basketball, back with another car series. I got the crew with me. Say hi, Tim. All right. And yeah, today's 9-11. Um, and obviously, everyone's been telling their story about, you know, where were they and, and, you know, how they feel about it. Remember this person, remember that people. And I think that's absolutely right. That should happen. <clears throat> I kind of wanted to take this video on a different route, though. Um, I think I've shared last year, 9-11, where I was, so I'll just keep that brief, but I was in college in New York, the junior college, playing basketball. Saw so on the TV they had in the little cafeteria. Um, didn't really even think it was here in America at that time. Um, and then, you know, read the hot headlines. They sent everybody home. And, you know, being in New York at that time, everybody panicked. Uh, it was kind of funny. The person I was actually riding with at that time, we, you know, we were riding together to school and back. Man, she was on the news. She was listening to the news and just, oh my gosh, it's World War Three all over again. And this is going to be the end of the world. And just panicking. It was hilarious. That's probably the one humorous point of that day. <laughs> um, uh, but anyways, that's, that's another story. But there's something I did want to talk about this. Like I said, I think it's important that we remember those who, who, whose lives were sacrificed those who sacrifice their lives trying to save others, those who sacrifice countless hours and effort and trying to save the people and, and, and rebuilding and just, just everything. Ground zero, um, the firemen, the police officers, the National Guard, just everybody. And you know what? Here's another one that I think is a gift that I don't think is recognized enough. You know, there's a lot of soldiers in my unit, a lot of soldiers I've talked to, went through basic training with, that they joined after 9-11. They felt that they wanted to step up and make a difference after what happened with 9-11. So I think that's another person we should respect and, and honor in this situation. Um, because you still think about it, only 2% of the population are even in the armed services alone. So, anyways, what I think we go to today, and I think this is my call to action. This is my call to action here. I read a quote by George Raveling. If you don't know who George Raveling is, he was a great college coach. Uh, I think my, my coach pros, I can't put my thumb on that. But he's like in charge of basically Nike basketball right now. I mean, you think about how big of an opportunity that is, how big of a leadership role that is. And he wrote, he's a, a consummate leader, learner, and teacher. And he, he wrote a quote that says basically, as a committee, America needs to get back to finding our core values and the things that made us great, that make us great as a country. And I think that's so true. You know, I look at these presidential debates, and I'll be honest with you, I don't pay attention to them. I probably should a little more, and I get that I probably should, you know, being a soldier, being a father, being an entrepreneur affects me. But I just have a hard time doing it because it just seems like a big uh, blame session. It just seems like a big blame game. Oh, this person this, this person that. and then, You know, but I, I, you never hear anything about, well, this is wrong. So as a citizen or as, as a leader or as an entrepreneur or as, as whatever, I'm going to make this difference. You know, I'm going to get this group of people together. We're going to make this change. You just, I don't know. I just feel like you don't see that anymore. You see these causes on Facebook. Woo, you get a thousand people to click like. Boy, you did something. And that's not wrong. It brings awareness. But where's action? When, when's the rubber going to hit the pavement? When are we going to start taking action? When is days like this going to remind us and motivate us to go make a change and get America to back where it's going? Because you know what? There is a decline. And some things we can't change. You know, we can't change the, the national debt. I get that. We can't change that. There's other things we can't change the laws. But, you know, I mean, there's influences we can have. There's actions we can take. You know, we, we've got to be willing to do that. We've got to get back to the people that are willing to stand up and make their own difference when they don't see change from leadership. I'm talking about the Martin Luther Kings. You know, um, Abraham Lincoln, even before he was a president. I mean, the people, not only just the beliefs and values, but the people that made this this country great. The forefathers that came here and decided to make this a democracy, decided to make this a constitution. And still we find ways to bash that. It's like man, we, you know that's our baby. And yes, there's lawmakers and there's there's 
governing body over it that make decisions that we may not always agree with, but how well do we take care of it? How well do we exercise it in the right manner? Too many times I see people trying to take advantage of it or find loopholes in it. You know, it's it's we gotta check ourselves before we can go and check our leadership, to be honest with you. Because if we're not being who we need to be under that leadership, how can we even sit here and question our leadership? It's all about us and it's all about the actions we take. So today my call to action is find something to do that's gonna make change. Find something if there's something that you have a problem with. Whether maybe it's America or maybe it's just something in general, your workplace, school, um, circle, people you hang out with, I, I don't know what it is, your team. You go ahead and drop that in there, coach. Um, but whatever it is, go go make a decision to make something, take action. Stop complaining. Complaining doesn't do anything. Complaining, and I heard this before, excuse my language, but complaining is just a crap magnet just bringing more crap upon yourself by complaining. What are you complaining for? Go take action. That's mine. That's what those people at 9-11 did. That's what all those volunteers did at Ground Zero. But you had to ask them. They didn't complain about it and be forced. I mean, they took action. Massive, determined, focused action. Go take some. And remember, there's train and there's untrained.